I'm gonna show you all like your girl started in the trenches when it comes to our lock journey. But see my locks look beautiful and long like this now. Like I didn't even thought this was gonna look like this. Like I can be real. What you saying gals and gents? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We have another lock video. My name is Monique Bean. So if you're new here, don't forget to click the subscribe button right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you're interested in locks and beauty videos, and if you're old, thank you so much for coming back. Today's lock video is going to be about reasons your locks aren't growing. And everybody literally questions this about their locks when they're just getting started. They want to know why their locks didn't grow. I wanted to know at a point in time why my locks wasn't growing so let's let's get into it let's let's talk about it one of the reasons why your locks may not be growing is definitely retwisting too often now straight out the gate when I first started I was a bit scared of not retwisting my locks too early because I didn't want no problem I heard a lot of horror stories when it came to retwisting too tight or retwisting every other week or retwisting every month I heard it all so Straight out again, I didn't retwist my locks too tight. Didn't retwist it as often. Like even up to now, like I still practice the same things. I retwist every four to either six weeks. People have to understand, retwisting slims down your locks. Every time your hair gets retwisted, it's literally slimming down your lock, pulling your hair. Locks are very low maintenance, and I feel like we don't keep it. We don't keep it low maintenance. Like we want to make it stressful, but your lock journey is not supposed to be stressful, baby girl or baby boy. Your lock journey is supposed to just be what it is. You know, you take care of your hair, you moisturize your hair, you let it be free, like what it's supposed to be. But you know, we like our little styles, and we love it all. Cause I don't love it all. So I just want to say don't force your maintenance, you know what I mean? Like don't force, don't put yourself in an expensive maintenance or put yourself in maintenance that you don't need, you know what I mean? So give it time, give it time to flourish. Another reason your locks may not be growing is definitely hair dye. Hair dye has a lot of chemicals. I don't know if y'all ever see the people who got like their hair dye, man. If you really look at somebody who hair dye, not everybody, because some people just get lucky. People are cutting their locks because of hair dye. A lot of people are, are battling with their locks or have to cover their ends of their locks just because of hair dye. Hair dye can damage your locks. Like, their locks get frizzy and it can shred into literally nothing. Like, even if you dye your hair and you wash your hair, a lot of dye still stays in because sometimes it's just very hard to get a dye out and believe it or not the chemicals are the one frying up your locks like for real you just gotta be careful like you really gotta be careful and and hopefully you go to somebody who know what they doing not every loctician is a loctician but but don't panic if your hair is already dyed i just want you to play close attention to your hair and try not to dye it like often you know pay close attention watch your hair like trust me you will be able to tell when your hair is starting to damage another reason your locks may not be growing is definitely styling and manipulating your locks like let's just be real manipulation is definitely going to slow down your lock journey like locks are very versatile but too much manipulation is not. in the reality of things your locks supposed to be left alone but we want to do everything with our locks but if you are doing everything with your locks like do it in moderation too much of anything isn't good and all of that styling does lead to excessive pulling I always tell my story when I used to style my hair a lot like I could have feel the difference versus when I leave my hair alone when I leave my hair alone I feel like my my hair was flourishing it was growing quicker like trust me you really gotta have a fine routine that works for you and you really gotta understand your lock journey like just take your time understand it don't rush your lock journey and since we've reached this far in this video if you just started your lock journey drop a comment down below let me know now let's get into our next point another reason your lock may not be growing is definitely lack of moisture I am a maintenance girl. I love to take care of my hair. I love to maintain. I love to oil my scalp. Like that is such therapy for me. I love, love natural products. I love making natural products for my locks. Like it is me. Your locks are a plant. Just how you water a plant, you got to water your locks, baby girl. Like water your locks because you want your locks to flourish. You want your locks to bloom. Like, 
I'm gonna show you all like your girl started in the trenches when it comes to our love journey y'all see that picture that picture right there showing you like it was a journey so to see my locks look beautiful and long like this now like I didn't even thought this was gonna look like this like I can be real so give your hair time I always talk about my moisture routine you don't want your hair to get brittle and drop off to my moisture routine because it's the rosemary water Jamaican black castor oil um, any natural oil that is natural for your hair like I always do my research on everything that I put in my hair because I've had battles with build up in the past and I tell myself I'm not going back down a road so I do really research on everything I was very clueless when I first started because there weren't a lot of people on YouTube like how they are now but I do want to say avoid heavy products at all costs product builds up it's very hard to get out and always go the natural route when it comes to your maintenance routine or your moisture routine comment below if you have a routine for your locks or hair routine in general and what it consists of because I'd be curious too I'd be curious to know another reason your locks may not be growing is definitely when you're laying down like not protecting your hair like when you lay on your hair keep in mind that's pulling your hair you don't know how you sleep at night like a lot of things can happen so you have to protect your hair you don't want no you don't want no breakage in the long run like all of these things can cause breakage and breakage is something you don't want in your life. and then not protecting your hair can also cause limb problems and limb problems is very hard to deal with that's something you don't want trust me you don't want no limb when I go to bed, I always protect my locks with a satin cap. Like, that's just quicker, easier, simple. Like, let's get straight to the point. I never wrapped up this video of why your locks may not, may not be growing. I hope you guys enjoy. Also, if there's any advice or any problems you ever encountered with your locks, drop a comment down below. You may be able to help somebody else. This channel is very free. You can talk about anything about your lock journey. No judgment over here. Help somebody, help somebody. You know what I mean? So thank you gals so much for watching. And don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed. And stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.